Hello friends and family from International Drive and Sand Lake Road. Today we're taking a trip right behind us over here to the world's largest McDonald's. This McDonald's is just absolutely incredible. Like they have two stories, there's an elevator. They also have some really amazing menu options. Things you can't get in any other McDonald's. So I want to show you guys the full tour, get some of the menu options that you actually can't get anywhere else. Like they have McPizza, they have like Chicken Alfredo, all sorts of crazy things. Also an enormous arcade in here that I want to show you. And then we're going to head right behind us over here to the, one of the new Walt Disney World stores. It's literally right behind us. So we have the Walt Disney World store and the world's largest McDonald's. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. Just an absolutely beautiful day outside today. I do want to point out, it is a little bit breezy with the flag blowing over there. But over here, like I was saying, is the world's largest McDonald's. It's actually very, very close to Universal Orlando Resort here on International Drive. And just right behind us, actually, like I was saying, is the Walt Disney World store. I do want to head over there, show you guys a lot of the merchandise they have to offer. But a quick little side note, right over here is actually the world's largest just checkers restaurant not too many people actually know about that so that there is really interesting and also way over here on the other corner you actually have the world's largest Walgreens I think the whole corner here of International Drive has the world's largest just about everything I feel like oh look at that there's one of the uh, helicopter tours coming by how fun is that the drive through for this McDonald's is actually so big, it kind of reminds me of like a drive through at a bank. Like isn't that crazy like how large that is? The sheer size of this McDonald's is actually hard to get the entire thing in frame. This is the front of the building and actually looks really nice all lit up like all of these circles are different colors and whatnot. But like I was saying, this is actually a two-story building, but there's the golden arches itself. And right across the way over here on International Drive is actually Hulk Hogan's store, which is a lot of fun. And here it is, the main entrance to the world's largest McDonald's. And check out the neon Ronald McDonald right there. You can actually see he's starting to light up over here at the moment. It's definitely not close to getting dark just yet. But you can see his really big shoes there, all lit up, and his little costume that he's wearing. Actually, the M on his costume for McDonald's is lit up at the moment. And how about the colorful McDonald's sign up ahead there? Definitely really, really unique. All right, though, let's head on in and give you guys a little bit of tour of what you can expect on your visit here. So as soon as you come in, like, there's an actual area where they prepare, like, breakfast. Like, they do make omelets, eggs, and all sorts of amazing things over here. But right now, we're actually here for dinner time. They do have a brick oven pizza over here in this direction. I think that's what we're going to try today is the McPizza. Look at that. An actual brick oven inside of a McDonald's. Like, isn't that just crazy? And you can sit over here at the counter, actually watch them prepare your food you'll notice like the little containers of pasta like I was saying you could actually get like chicken alfredo pasta with marinara sauce and all sorts of amazing things my last trip here I actually got the uh, chicken alfredo and it was really good this is definitely much different though than your run-of-the-mill McDonald's. There's a bunch of different kiosks where you can actually order your food or you can go up here and order your food itself and just wait up there at the counter like you would. But they do also have a saltwater aquarium inside of this McDonald's. I do want to check out the little fishies here. It looks like they're actually on the bottom. Look at that. There's a little bright yellow one over there. Oh, there's some blue ones and yellow ones. Like how crazy cool is this? There's an actual tropical fish tank inside of McDonald's. Look at him. I wonder what he's thinking there, just staring at us. Just hanging out at the bottom of the aquarium. Oh, he's making a friend over here too. Look at that. 
this McDonald's actually does feature a lot of things you won't find elsewhere. They do actually offer cakes. Like, look at that. They actually have some cheesecake right there. And then over here looks like a really delicious cake. It's like a peanut butter and chocolate one. Looks like there's actually brownies on top of that. They look very delicious though. But they do even have a whole section here of like hard serve ice cream, like strawberry cheesecake, grand vanilla, chocolate, and all different types of offerings. I always really like the main seating area though. Like as soon as you come in, all of the different lightings, there's actually like a pergola over here. And again, just the lighting fixtures themselves. And there's like little picnic table areas, but there are different sections all around this McDonald's, like throughout the whole first floor and also upstairs as well. I do want to give a little peek here of the different menu offerings. They do have pizzas, like I was saying, those are 10 inches. They're starting at $8.99 with different toppings, like uh, different sauces, like uh, tomato sauce, marinara, they have olive and garlic, and they do also have Alfredo, but you could choose your meats and all sorts of other toppings. And you can also purchase your pasta here starting at $10.99. They have like ravioli, tortellini, linguine, all different sauces. You can add bacon and uh, chicken to the top of that. But look at that, it's actually what the uh, pasta looks like. And there's the pizza. Isn't the theming in here so fun though? Look at this, there's like little wood wooden pallets. It says love. There's actually a heart, like a bunch of different planters. Definitely very, very unique from your typical McDonald's for sure. They do have steps that actually take you to the upper level and an elevator. I'll show you that in a little bit. But look at this, isn't that something else? Okay, so here's the McPizza. These are actually only $8.99 plain if you do want to get pepperoni. I believe it's a $1.49 add-on. My mom actually got the uh, pepperoni pizza over here. We went with the plain, but this looks very delicious. Check out how all the cheese is melted. The crust is like a perfect golden brown. Definitely a unique item here for a McDonald's for sure. I'm really excited to try this though and uh, yeah, show you guys what we think of the McPizza here at the world's largest McDonald's. Okay, let's go ahead and try the McPizza here at the world's largest McDonald's. Isn't that crazy? To be able to get pizza and like fettuccine Alfredo and different things like that at McDonald's. Again, that is very, very unique here. And it's actually very close to uh, Universal Orlando Resort. Let's go ahead and give this a try though. Mm. It's actually cooked perfectly, like it's not burnt or anything. It actually has a lot of flavor, the perfect amount of cheese. It's actually really good. I like this a lot. Definitely check out the pizza here. Yeah, very, very good. I do also want to try the pepperoni pizza because this looks really good. And it's actually like really big pieces or slices of pepperoni on this pizza. Again, it's really just cooked to perfection. 10 inch pies for that price. It's pretty cool for McDonald's. Let's go ahead and try the pepperoni. Mm. The pepperoni is really, really good. I actually prefer the pepperoni over the plain, but they're both very, very good. I think I just like the extra added flavor of the pepperoni. Like I said, it's like really thick pepperoni, big pieces. It's excellent though. I would definitely get that again. Of course, being at McDonald's, I feel like you have to get a cheeseburger. I also went with a double cheeseburger. Look at that though, they actually put a sticker on there, double checked for accuracy. Like I don't think I've ever seen that on a cheeseburger before at a McDonald's. And here it is, the McDouble. I just get the plain Jane basically with a cheese and ketchup. They're usually always good. It actually feels really warm. Like sometimes when you go to McDonald's for whatever reason, like the, the burger and everything is cold sometimes and the cheese isn't melted. But this one here looks really good. Yeah, that's a very good burger. The food is actually really good here today. The pizza, the fries, the burger, very good. Now that we've officially finished up our pizza, we do actually have a little bit of leftovers. They do give you a pizza box in case you do have any. I do want to head upstairs though on the elevator and uh, show you guys around up there because it is so much fun. Okay, so we just got off the elevator here to the second floor. Look at that, there's a huge sign that says greetings from Orlando, Florida. And over here, I do want to point out, check this out. There's actually Mac tonight up there. Look at him. There is the actual McDonald's Moon Man over there. Like how cool. Check out the theming in here though. It's really impeccable. Like all of the old school like McDonald's characters over there. I believe that's Grimace. And over there is the actual Hamburglar. Well check this out though. It's almost 
like a Chuck E. Cheese in here. Definitely very, very loud, but there is lots and lots for the kiddos to do. Like this whole play area over here is actually completely complimentary if you're here at the world's largest McDonald's. There's also a shark right over there up ahead. And it's really neat because this actually overlooks the Walt Disney World store right across the street. But this is just like a Chuck E. Cheese where you can come over here to the arcade and actually get coupons and points and win some of these items. Like they have a lot of different Funko Pops over there. There's some cool puzzles from Frozen. And then look at those rubber duckies. Like they have all different colors of rubber duckies. Yeah, it's just really, really neat over here. They do have these random machines where you can actually purchase your gameplay. You can buy the gameplay, recharge, and also check your balance there on the gameplay. But I love this little arcade that they have. They have like all of the classic McDonald's characters. Like look at Ronald McDonald over there. He's like doing some surfing. You have Ronald McDonald right there. It looks like he's scuba diving with a bunch of random fish and seahorses. And look at this one, probably my favorite. They're actually riding in Ronald McDonald's shoe. That is so neat. Over here is a really fun train machine game. It looks like the old school games like back in the 80s, like that almost like before Nintendo DS. Like they have a really fun pocket player baseball one. And then over here, look at that one. Oh, that is so retro. They have a Pac-Man one, but you have to actually raise the little key there and actually unlock the prize. But look at this one. This one actually has a ginormous plushie inside there that you can win. It's almost like dangling on a rope. That is really neat. Some crane mach machines here where you can actually win some Paw Patrol characters. Looks like you have all the different Paw Patrol characters. Even a random SpongeBob plushie kind of hanging out over there. And there's even these really fun motorcycles. Like look at that one over there. That's Super Bikes 3. Like these look like a lot of fun. But there are so many different arcade games here. And again, you can actually win all the tickets and then head on over there to the counter and win these prizes. They have Ski Ball, even this really fun Pirates Hook game for the kiddos. But look at this one. They have a basically a really large fidget spinner where you'll spin this piece right here and it'll land on exactly how many tickets you could win. It says you can win a thousand bonus tickets. Look at it though, it's still going. Okay, holy moly, like that play area was so packed. There were so many kids over there. I think they were actually having a birthday party. It's usually not like that. Like being on the weekend, I could see it being like that, but definitely because of the birthday party. But that is so much fun. It's actually $5 for a half hour of unlimited gameplay. Like you don't get to win tickets or anything. That's kind of like the little caveat to that. And a $10 does get you an hour of gameplay. But that's definitely what we usually do when we come here because you can play all that you want, keep swiping, and play for an entire hour. Like that is a great price. I think I actually want to head over to the Walt Disney World store and show you guys all of the newest Disney Parks merchandise. That they have to offer. Like I was saying though you actually have Hulk Hogan's Beach Shop right across the street here from the world's largest McDonald's. Like I just find that so incredible. I was a little Hulkamaniac growing up. Like that store is just awesome. And also check out over here you can actually see the Orlando icon over there. A great view here on uh, International Drive. You could actually see Ronald McDonald, the man himself. He is just about starting to get all lit up. That is so crazy cool, like all of the neon with Ronald McDonald and the signage up there, like I was saying, being like all different colors. Like, I just love that. At the corner of International Drive and Sand Lake Road, one of the hardest things actually is to get across the street. Of course, International Drive, the traffic is just crazy. There's people on both sides. We're gonna head on over to the Walt Disney World store though. And here we go. I don't think like it gives you enough time even. It started out around 30 seconds. It's already at 22 and we didn't even get halfway across the street here. We kind of got to shuffle and uh, hurry across. Just making our way here to the Walt Disney World store. Look at that. You have uh, Epcot right there. Like, I love this wall mural. And of course, you have Flower and Garden Festival going on right now. I just feel like that's so perfect. But let's head on into the Walt Disney World store and check out all the newest Disney offerings. 
So as soon as you come here, they have like a really nice long sleeve women's shirt with Princess Jasmine and Tiana on that one. That one is a lot of fun. $39.99 for that. And I do want to show you this really nice full zip quilted pattern one. Again, with the Disney princesses on there and then all the other castles and whatnot on the bottom. This one is $69.99. That is really neat though. Look at even the hood there with all of the castles. I love this. Also some coffee mugs that I haven't seen before with the princesses. Look at that one there. That is really cool. You got Moana on there and some of the other princesses. We got Snow White, Tiana. That one is $19.99. Then also check out the uh, long sleeve sweatshirt that they have here. Look at that though with Bambi and Thumper. This one here is very heavy too. $54.99 for that. Like that is so neat. Like I love that graphic on there. But I do want to come over here and show you guys some of the awesome 50th anniversary merchandise. Of course, they have the uh, spirit jersey here. It says Walt there on the one sleeve. Then you have Disney and then World on the other one. But you actually have Tinkerbell. Then check out the awesome graphic there on the bottom with all of the main Disney characters. This one is $89.99. And they do have a really nice uh, full zip that I want to show you. On the front, it has the uh, 50th anniversary celebration. And then on the back side, again, all of the main Disney characters with all of the iridescence. They do also have some new luggage here that we haven't seen. It says Mickey Mouse all over it. You got Mickey Mouse making smiley faces. And it has this nice little rubber tag here. It says Mickey Mouse all-time classic. Definitely a really nice one on rollers. That one is $199. That's really nice. And they do have that uh, 50th anniversary celebration throw blanket where you have Walt actually holding Mickey's hand. Look at this, that is so neat. $74.99 for that. And the Disney Parks Lounge Fly. This is one of the newest ones actually for the 50th anniversary. You got Cinderella Castle, the 50. There's your uh, Disney Parks Lounge Fly tag. But check out the back. Walt Disney World for the 50th with all the iridescence. These are $88 a piece. Let's check out some of the little girls' offerings. Look at that purse. All the sparkles on there. Oh, that's neat. That is really cool, actually. It has a bunch of rhinestone hearts. That one is $29.99. Definitely very, very shiny. Even have the fairy godmother there on there. And then right underneath are some really nice um, long sleeve shirts here. These are actually sweatshirts for little girls. That one is $34.99 with Minnie Mouse and all the polka dots. And then over here, look at this one. It says dreaming in dots. <laughs> and she's actually blowing bubbles. That's adorable. $39.99. But this one here actually has a hood. That's really cool. This room over here actually is showcasing Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. And I do want to show you what this touchscreen actually does. But they actually have the monorails and the uh, Cinderella Castles playsets here for the 50th anniversary celebration. They used to be $125. They have those on clearance here for $75 a piece. But I do have to show you this because this is just awesome. So back to main menu. Let's see what we can find here. We'll go to photo gallery. There we go. We can explore the actual like resorts and whatnot. Okay, so let's see here. Welcome video. Let's do that. Look at this. What if the magic oh. <laughs> the just the So it actually showcasing your Disney vacation. There's the Skyliner. Let's see what we oh look at that. The Millennium Falcon and Cinderella Castle. come to life right outside your door. That little room is actually so much fun because you can actually check out different Disney resorts. So if like you're a DVC member, you can click on the things that actually tour the DVC rooms, like for Grand Floridian, the Polynesian, any of them, and be able to check out those rooms. That's always a lot of fun. They do also have some new Disney lounge fly bags. This one over here is Lotso. Look at that, $75. He is scented like strawberries. You can't go wrong with a Lotso bag. Look at this. The backside, you have your Disney Parks lounge fly. And here's the tag, actually. It shows you how it's scented. And just like strawberries, that actually smells incredible. Like he's all embroidered. And then check out this awesome one. Another Disney Parks lounge fly. You got Woody and Bo Peep. I love how the rope is in the shape of a heart. And then all of the clouds. The really fun quilted pattern there. And on the back side, you actually have a Bo Peep sheep. That one is $78. Really neat, though. And they do have uh, Buzz Lightyear hanging out right here. Ten different phrases. Okay, so that's his laser. Let's see here. Oh, 
and beyond. It's a secret mission in a charted space. Let's go. They do have a little section here of all Star Wars merchandise. I want to show you a really awesome Star Wars lounge fly bag. This is like all the classic Star Wars characters. We got R2-D2, Chewbacca, C-3PO, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia. That one is $78. And then check out the really fun side bag that they have from Star Wars. It actually has the Grogu. That one is really cool. $39.99 for that. And they do even have a little Mandalorian set here. It looks like you get six different action figures, which is a lot of fun. Let's see how much these are. That's not bad. That one there is only $19.99. Check out some of the really fun cups they have. This one here has the Florida Orange Bird. It says spread sunshine, not shade. And look at on the straw there, you actually have an orange. This one is a lot of fun, $24.99 for that one. And here's a really cool one here. It says add water for 3D effect. Greetings from Paradise Falls. Look at that graphic. That is really cool. Let's see, $19.99 for that one. And they do have a really fun Minnie Mouse offering down here. Definitely very shiny with a lot of polka dots. I should say Mickey Mouse. That one is $27.99. Always like to check out some of the different Disney pins. They have silver, they are $11.99, and then yellow and pink are all $14.99. Look at this really fun one of Grumpy. It says, I'm not grumpy, I'm just surrounded by people who are too happy. That one is $11.99. Then they have a really fun one over here with Dopey. Look at that though, his eyes actually have gems. $11.99 for Dopey. They do have Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Definitely some unique ones that we haven't seen before. That one is $17.99, but I wanna to try to find some on here that we haven't seen before. Oh, look at this. That is so cool. It's the bus there from Haunted Mansion. That one's $14.99. Also a bunch of really fun offerings with a bunch of di different Disney princesses. Look at this one, Snow White. These are all $14.99. You have Princess Ariel. Over here you have Cinderella, Tiana, Pocahontas. Oh, look at that, we have Belle. Yeah, you got literally like every single Disney princess, even Jasmine over there. And these ones are really neat actually. Like these are Disney park pins. It's the actual tiaras of the princesses. Those are $14.99. Kind of like the same thing. They have each of the princess tiaras. They do also have a lot of the Disney 100 merchandise. Over here is the Disney 100 spirit jersey. The backside says Walt Disney World. And then you have all of the different Disney characters there on the bottom. It says Disney 100 Years of Wonder. They are $89.99. And they do have that really fun lounge fly. Like, I do love this one a lot. I like the silver color and the ears definitely make that. Like, look at that. Looks like a Mickey snack almost. Those are $78 a piece. And I love the metallic Disney Park lounge fly on the front. That tag is really nice. There's also a bunch of really fun Disney notebooks, and these are like all leather bound. This one is a fun Minnie Mouse one where you have her bow. It says, Be a Legend. They are $19.99. Over here, you actually have a smaller one, a set of three journals. This day actually comes with a patch that says, Greatest in the Galaxy from Star Wars. This whole pack is $19.99. And I do want to show you a really fun offering over here from Moana. Like this is actually wooden. It comes with a wooden ink pen there. Definitely very, very neat. And look at the little characters on the back. That is $29.99. I like that a lot though. Like that is really neat. And they also, I have one over here from a Disney's Beauty and the Beast. And that looks incredible on there. Again, these are leather and the backside has the enchanted rose, $24.99. Even comes with a little tassel there on the bottom. And look at it, it's actually gold bound. There's also some really fun retro Walt Disney World games you can get. Like, I don't even think I'd open that. Like, that is really cool. It actually says the Milton Bradley Company. And also, check out these new mugs that I haven't seen before. The one side actually says 25. And check out the really fun graphic there on the other. Yeah, that is seriously amazing. That is so cool. $19.99 for that. I had such a great time today at the world's largest McDonald's here on International Drive and also right behind us at the Walt Disney World store. They actually have some merchandise here that I haven't seen before, like not even over at Disney Springs. And one thing that was kind of crazy in here, they still had some of the Disney Joy merchandise, which is from this past holiday season, which is actually starting to make its way over to the Disney outlets. They still have some of that over here, which is definitely a little bit odd. 
If you'd like to further support the channel, please consider checking out our Patreon page. I'll add a link to that in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.